guys, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. I am so excited to have you here with me today. And if you're new, well, welcome. My name is Brenda and I'm excited to have you as well. If you guys like today's video, I just ask that you give me that thumbs up as well as put a comment in the comment box below so that I know you're here. And don't forget, make sure you've subscribed and hit that notification bell so that way you're notified as soon as I upload a video. So I hope you guys are ready to have some fun because the show is about to begin. Okay, for this first DIY, we are gonna duplicate this vase at Kirkland's and they had it for sale for $59.99. I just thought it was just crazy. So what I did is I took this vase from Dollar Tree and I am just painting the bottom part of it with um, the Waverly chalk paint in mineral. And uh, after I did this, I realized, oh, I should have just painted the whole vase white because I'm painting the rest of it white and then gone over the bottom with the mineral color. But um, I made it work, but I did uh, have to add a little bit more gray on the bottom to um, highlight that color because it got a little too much white in it. And I didn't care if it had straight lines or not because you want it to kind of have a blended look. And, and if you look real closely at the, the picture from Kirkland's, it's not a straight line with the gray. So so here i'm just touching that up and i just want to mention real quick guys that if you make it to the end i will give you a sneak peek of what's coming next week i'm real excited about this one i started working on it a month ago and put it aside to do different things and i finally finished it so i'm excited so then after i let the paint dry i grabbed these shower curtains that i got at the dollar tree they come in a 12 pack and they break really easy so i just broke one in half and i I uh, used my wire cutters to cut the connecting ends and then I just added some hot glue on the end and just started wrapping it with the jute twine and I wrap it all the way to the end and add a little more hot glue and um, and then trim off the end and you have this cute little handle and uh, look at there isn't that cute so then I just hot glue the handle onto that vase and that DIY is done. How easy is that? And we have this cute little duplicate vase that cost me probably less than $2 and Kirkland's is selling something very similar for $59.99. I just, I can't get over it. <laughs> so for the next DIY, I took this, um, I guess it's a like a planter bowl. It's in the garden section at the Dollar Tree. It's just a plastic see-through bowl um, that you put under under uh, planters. So I'm painting it all white with um, my Waverly chalk paint, and I just paint all of it on the inside. And then once I get done painting here, and I turn it over and I paint the outside. Um, all over the bottom and the sides and I just give it an extra coat of paint there and then once that's done I go over it with the mineral color as well just like I did with the vase and I'm just gonna paint all around the bottom and then I just take my white and just kind of smear it a little bit just to kind of blend it um, so that there's not such hard lines there and then once that's done I took a uh, a couple of the shower curtains and actually one and I used both sides and I did the same thing as I did with the vase where I just cut the ends off cut them in half and wrapping them with jute twine now I put them on the sides and when you see the picture you'll see that the the picture of the one from Kirkland's the the handles are more on the edge and if I would have thought about it I could have tried to punch a hole because um, it looks like they have holes on it with the jute twine going into the holes and kind of wrapping around um, the handle that way. But I didn't think about it until after I was looking at the picture when I completed it. So if you make this, you might want to do that, maybe get a hole punch and just punch a couple holes in and um, put the jute twine be through the hole and then wrap the handle and then put the other end through the other hole and then hot glue them there. Um, so there it is. Not bad. I think it looks pretty cute considering theirs is $39.99 and mine was just a couple of dollars. Okay, these are the items we're going to use for the next DIY. 
I did is I started out with putting some uh, painters tape along the um, the mirror so that I don't get any paint on it. I was gonna uh, brush paint this, but uh, it's got a lot of little crevices inside and our weather was pretty nice. So I decided I was gonna go ahead and spray paint it. So um, I will be taking that out in a few minutes to spray paint that. Um, but as soon as I get this tape on there, I give it a thorough cleaning. And then I'm gonna take that sign that I got at the Dollar Tree and around Christmas time. And I had my husband um, use his drill bit to uh, make a couple of holes for my dowels that I'm gonna use. Um, so those, those are already there on them. And it was real simple. I could have probably done it. Um, he just did it for me. And that mirror, actually, I got from the Dollar Tree as well, as well as those dowels. So what I am going to do is I'm actually um, copying a an item I saw online at at home. So here I'm just gluing, I'd already painted, I already had that spray painted on the front. So I took these two wooden dowels that I had painted white and I'm just e using E6000 as well as hot glue and I'm um, attaching them to the back of this mirror. And I'm just gonna put some painter tape on there to, um, to kind of hold it in place while that, especially while that E6000 sets. So um, once it was all dry, I, put the dowels in the little dowel holes there. I did add a little wood glue in it. Um, and so uh, that will help hold it. So once I was done, this is a really fast project. I needed knew I needed something. So I found these uh, rhinestones that I had uh, gotten from the Dollar Tree as well. It was like a ribbon of rhinestones. And um, I my husband actually said it needs something shiny and so i'm like hmm and i remembered i had these and i uh, got them out and i put them on there thinking i wasn't going to like it but i actually really like the way it looked and there it is it is all done is as easy as that and so for less than three dollars we have this cute little mirror and they were selling theirs for 12.99 so it's not exactly, I put the two dowels instead of the one, but I still like it. So this next one, I took this can canister from the Dollar Tree. These bowls came in a two pack from Dollar Tree and then these wall decals. And here I'm just gonna trim out the wall decal. Now I saw this done by Sammy with Unicorn Dust Designs and I will uh, put her link, a link to her video in my description box. Um, I absolutely love this. And then when I was at uh, Hobby Lobby one day, I saw something that they did to one of their milk jugs and that I absolutely loved. So that's why I'm putting this wall decal on because it's going to rep, um, resemble the one that was at Hobby Lobby that I really, really liked. So what I just did there, I cleaned off that canister and then I put some hot glue on the back of that wall decal. It was sticky, but it wasn't super sticky. So I wanted it to have um, more stick to it. So I just hot glued it on and then I'm just rubbing it on there. And then I'm gonna take these two bowls and I'm going to put E6000 along the edge the rim the back rim of the or the bottom rim I should say of the small bowl and I'm going to put it all the way around and then I'm going to get my hot glue and I'm going to put that on the inside of the rim all the way around and then I'm just going to attach the that bottom piece to the bottom piece of the bigger bowl there and um I will hold it there in place for just a few seconds. If you are doing this, that's probably a good idea to just let that glue set. And then here I'm showing that I, I'm putting glue along the the rim there. The, I'm using the E6000 and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the, the uh, hot glue. Um, and then I do put the, the lid on and um, it, it actually, I end up, you'll see in a little bit, I end up having to take it off because it got crooked. And so I was able to at least pull it off a little bit and fix it. You can kind of see there in that picture, it looks a little crooked, but I did get to 
get it fixed. So then I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color white and I am just painting that whole canister white as well as that wall decal that I put on the front and I'm going to paint the the lid all white. And you can see there that I took that lid off because it was crooked. Um, so then I am outlining with my Waverly chalk paint in the color mineral. I am outlining all those little de um, details that are on that decal. And I just color that all in with that mineral color. And then I'm taking the stencil brush with some white and I'm just kind of dabbing that all around that gray color. And then I'm going to use a baby wipe and just kind of wipe it so that it kind of smears into each other so that it blends the lines so the lines aren't so um, strong, I guess. Um, and you can kind of see in that picture how that worked and I really liked the way it looked. And then uh, once I get done doing that, I decide to take that stencil brush again with the mineral color and I am just dabbing that all around that canister and what I was going for was a um, galvanized look but what I probably should have done instead and if you do this if you make this project I would recommend either spray painting it or painting it gray first and then um, you can do the galvanized look with a darker gray and white um, that's probably what I should have done I know that's what Sammy did but uh, I ended up doing it this way instead. And um, I then also, I took my darker ink, um, gray color paint, which was in the color elephant, and I'm gonna dab that on as well. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the lighter gray. I'm just gonna go all over, and then I take a baby wipe, and I just kind of wipe it and blend it in. And it just kind of gives it some different colors, some dimension there. And um, when I got done with it, I, I set it aside for a little bit and I kept looking at it and I wasn't sure I really liked the way the color came out. So I do change that up in a little bit. So here I'm just still, I'm doing the same thing, wiping it, um, dabbing it, wiping it, dabbing it, wiping it. And then after that, I am going to do the same exact thing to that bowl which is actually the lid for the milk jug. So here I'm gonna just start dabbing on the different paints and I use both the mineral and the elephant. And I go inside the top of the bowl. Um, I don't worry about the bottom in, uh, inside bowl um, because that's gonna be glued onto the, the, car, the container there. So you're not gonna see it. <clears throat> but then I use the baby wipe there as well and I just wipe and wipe and kind of smear it as much as I can to blend those colors. And here I am finally hot gluing it on and I'm holding it down, making sure that it's not going to move this time and it's going to stay, um, stay attached. So then I take, I bought these um, shower curtain rings from Dollar Tree and there's a 12 in a packet. And I use my wire cutters and I just cut them in half and then I cut off, watch for it, ah, it went flying. Uh, um, I cut off the ends first because they have the little ends that attach to each other and then I cut it in half. Um, and then I'm just going to take my uh, chalk paint in the color elephant and I'm going to paint the top and the, the inside and the outside of both of those rings. Um, those, uh, the little pieces that went flying everywhere, I, I've been finding them all over the place. <laughs> uh, I'm just glad nobody was in that area and got hit with them. Um, so I'm just about done here. And once that is done, I, this is where I'm looking at that as I'm painting these little rings and I'm thinking, I just don't know if I really like that color yet. So I um, decided to take that light gray, which is color mineral, and take a sponge brush, sponge brush <laughs> and just go over um, 
all those dark areas. I just kind of wanted to add a little more light colors to it. I just felt like it was, it looked dirty. It didn't necessarily have the galvanized look. It'll just look more dirty. So here I'm just using that uh, lighter color and just kind of brushing it in everywhere and just kind of helping it. And then I really liked the way it looked after that. So then I took this, uh, my hot glue gun, and I put some hot glue on the ends of the shower curtain rings and I'm um, just holding it there and if you do this you, you're going to want to hold it there for a little bit just make sure that glue is set. I um, on one of them I didn't hold it long enough and it fell off and I had to redo it so which is no big deal it, it looks fine but um, you just want to make sure you're holding it you know for a good 15-20 seconds probably just to make it really make sure that it really adheres. So um, after that, I, of course, I had to put a bow on it. I just felt like it was too plain. So I got this, I don't know if it's buffalo check or gingham, but I got this beautiful black plaid <laughs> ribbon and I made a bow out of it. And then I am going to dovetail the ends, um, to give them that finished look. And then I slow the camera down here so you can see how I dovetail. So if you're going to do a bow, you want to fold it, the end there, and then you, you cut on the folded end all, and then at an angle to the bottom. And that's how you do a dovetail. And it just gives it that nice finished look. And there it is. I think it turned out so cute. I love it. And that's what I was copying from the Hobby Lobby store. And they, I think that was $40. Okay, here are the final four projects. Three of them were super easy, so I encourage you to give them a try. If you do, let me know which one you've tried. If not, that's okay. Just let me know which one you liked and which one was your favorite. I really enjoyed it, and I'm really glad you guys were here for it. If you stay tuned, you'll see a sneak peek of what's to come next week. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and a blessed week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.